Hello, my name is Andrew Hoffert, and with New Year coming, I'm planning on talking about consistency and exercise, why that matters, and how that's gonna get you better results with really less work than you were probably planning on doing. This is what's gonna give you a blueprint to help you be successful this year when normally in the past you might have struggled with inconsistency, burnout, and just struggling to hit your fitness goals. So let me break down what we have here. This is gonna be a chart I'm, I'm gonna build up for y'all. With up here, it's fitness, and here's your time in day. So I've got one through 21 days. This is a three weeks of good progression it's gonna look like. And then I'll go through what bad progression and what's happening in your body when you work too hard, you do too much, and you burn out, and what happens when you're too inconsistent, okay? So here's your starting fitness level. This is what you can do today, okay? So if you'd imagine the bottom of the graph is somebody who is bed rest, can't even get out of bed, completely weak, and then at the top, you've got an Olympian, okay? So here's where you are. It's the beginning of the new year, and you're gonna exercise, and you've got a good plan. All right, you say, I'm gonna work out three times a week with good rest and recovery in between. So I get a good hard workout, and so I walk out the door immediately a little bit weaker. It's like 30 minutes later, I am weaker than I was, and that's okay. What you've told your body to do is I need to get stronger, here's why, life is hard. So over the next two days, so from Monday to Wednesday, you're gonna slowly recover until you are a little bit stronger. So here is the line of where you started out, okay? You're a little bit stronger three days later. So you're gonna do it again, okay? So you work out, get a little bit weaker, you're tired right now. That's what that weaker means is I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I'm not 100%, I heal slowly, and two days later, I'm a little bit stronger, and I repeat that. All the way on until I'm where I wanna be, okay? So realize that these little jump ups, a little bit higher, that's like half a percent, okay? That's not ridiculously high. It'll be more in the beginning, so your first six to 12 weeks, it may be 2% you're better every workout or 1% better. But then as time goes on, you progressively just improve less and less. So keeping that in mind that it's not just, if you're not tracking this stuff, it's hard to tell, am I improving, which can be super demoralizing. So that will lead on to the next graph we're gonna make, which is a bad graph. This is a no-go graph. Okay, this is, I say this is my year, nothing's gonna stop me, I'm gonna work out every day, I might work out twice a day, I'm gonna do all this, I'm gonna do everything, okay? And so this works for some people, and those people are called 12 year olds. Not even, 15 year olds, okay? You gotta hit puberty. But, everyone else, you gotta follow the normal rules. And our body's rules say, if we can't recover, we are not getting stronger. So, I'm gonna work out this first day, just like before. And I heal a little bit until the next day. And I say, I'm gonna work out because no matter what, I am gonna work out this year. Boop. And then I heal a bit. I'm on day three. Boop. Heal a little bit. Day four. Boop. Heal a little bit. Day five. Boop. And I have dug myself in a big hole. I probably feel trashed by Friday, which a lot of people take as, oh, I worked out hard, I feel good, I enjoy this soreness, everything's great. Um, and soreness is fine, but if you're digging yourself a hole that it's gonna take you forever to get out of, you're not getting any stronger. Just look at the difference between me going into the weekend here and me going into the weekend here. So I hang out this weekend. I probably don't get anything done at the house that I say I want to. My kids or my wife have a really tired, tired husband. And I'm gonna take the weekend though. And so I'm gonna slowly heal over the weekend and I get two days of healing. 
okay? But now it's rolling into Monday, and I am an exercising person. I work out every day. I work out hard. Boop. Dig it up. Boop. Dig it up. Boop. And once again, I follow that path until I hit another weekend. And I just still, I'm not digging myself out of that hole. I'm not even at where this weekend's at. Until eventually I get three weeks in and I just hate life. This is stupid. Maybe my knee hurts. Maybe my ankle hurts. My back hurts. And something's got to give. And it takes me forever to feel normal again. I've just gotten through a whole month that's with six days of straight rest at the end. And I didn't get anywhere because I did too much at once. It wasn't that I didn't work hard enough. You worked plenty hard. It was just too much. And I probably was grumpy and mean the whole time. Okay? So that's what a lot of us will do in varying capacities. You may not be this extreme, but you're not getting anywhere. Or you're getting somewhere too slowly. Because you're, you may finally break through every couple of weeks, depending on how you pace your workouts. Now I'm going to show you inconsistent. So this is good, too much, and then we're going to go, this will be too little work. Okay, so once again, I'm going to start here at the beginning. I'm at regular fitness, ground level, January 1st, and you say, I have a reasonable plan. I'm going to do three times a week, okay? So I work out, and then I recover. Workout, so far I'm on a good path, feeling pretty good, things are going right. And then I get to the weekend, and then maybe Monday something comes up. So this will be Monday. I get to, something comes up, and I'm going to go, I have, I have a work trip. So I'm not going to get my workout in, and for whatever reason I can't get like a little hotel workout, or I just don't, or I decide it's okay to miss one day. And so from here, or from, sorry, from here, peel, so that's Monday. From Monday, instead of taking this dip that's quick from the workout, I slowly am just going down slowly from just lack of exercise. Because exercise is walking up an escalator, okay? If you stop, you start moving downwards. That being said, it's a very slow escalator, okay? If, if soon as I stop doing these regular activities, I'm gonna start declining really slowly, and that decline increases if I'm not sleeping enough, if I'm eating garbage, or if I'm on too strict a diet, I just don't have enough energy to preserve strength. Um, I start to decline here either way. So, I go to my work trip, I haven't done anything. I'm s and then I get back, there's a red eye, I'm tired, and then I finally work out. Boop, so I take that dip, that comes from just getting tired from exercise. So it's before workout, after workout, and then I start following this graph again. But something else happens, and I don't work out here. Get to the weekend. I get maybe a little tiny workout that's not much. Boop. Which doesn't cause a big response. And then before you know it, I'm working working out twice a week, and I'm just too inconsistent, and then maybe I, I'm mad at this, so I go through a cycle of that, where it's, where it's, I, I'm going to work out every day, and I do that for a few weeks, and by the end of the year, I'm within this same spot of fitness, maybe a little high, a little low, that I've been for the last five years, okay? Consistency matters, okay? You want to be digging a hole, climbing out of it and a bit higher, then dig another little hole, climb out and get a little higher, okay? So you don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too little. You want the Goldilocks effect. You want to continually improve by pacing yourself and finding what that right amount of stimulus is for you, okay? So this year, I want you to Find out what's reasonable for you. What can I consistently do? Because that's all that matters. 
And this is completely independent of your willpower sometimes. What can I consistently do with my job, with my family, you know, with all my other obligations? Because even if it's not much, as long as you are continually growing because you're working out twice a week really hard as opposed to three times regular, then you're gonna improve. But if you're unrealistic with yourself about what your lifestyle allows, then you'll never be able to progress and you'll be stuck spinning your wheels here. So that being said, go back, look at what you have planned for this New Year's and think, what can I consistently do? And then when you decide that, you gotta be committed to it and that has to be protected and special in what you do. All right, have a, new, have a good New Year's and uh, if you have any questions, just hit the comments and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Happy New Year. Have a good day.